You know how in those old 90 movies, there's that token black guy that teaches the main character how to dance or some bullshit? You know, that's never happened to me before. I wish someone yeah, would teach bro, me how to dance. Don't nobody want to be the token black guy. <laughs> 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 somebody tried to pull it off on me one time. Like, hey, bro, I'm from the hood. Dude. I'm just out here, bro. I will slap the fuck out <laughs> <laughs> not call me I was like, when is someone gonna make help me learn how to dance? <laughs> <laughs> you racist, bro. <laughs> Go that. Yeah. Hey, mama. I know y'all hate me. Guess what? I'm me. Well, y'all should have been FBS Podcast, Hateful J, Sugar Shane, in the building again. Thank you for being here. Thank you for listening last week, the week before. I think I said that last week, but thank you for listening to me say it last week. More subscribers. fire. Uh, Yeah, more subscribers. Please like and share and, and sub and do all the things wherever you're listening at. You know what I mean? All these platforms got a follow button. Hit the it's damn true. follow button, Facts. guys. Spot of spot them fires. What do you do? Do you just push Snapple, the button, right? Snapple, Snapple, Snapple Podcast? <laughs> uh, uh. What? what did you say? Do you just push the button, right? That's all you gotta yeah, do. You just you push, just yeah, you just push. Yeah, it's just a button. Yeah. Okay. Remember, I was talking about those. Easy, you know? talking about those buttons at one time. <laughs> yeah, it's just buttons on the screen. Hey, if you don't like it, you can hit this one and leave. I'm just playing. Don't leave. Anyway, man, we got some shit to talk about. Mostly movie shit. And uh, this might be a short shot. I don't know, but I'm appalled, Shane. Appalled? I'm appalled, bro. I knew. Okay, with the whole COVID shit, I always started something COVIDy, but it ain't got nothing to do with that. I knew masks were going to be trendy. I think I told you about the diamond covered masks that uh, I think Louis Vuitton or somebody made. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Bro, this is just. So, do you know uh, Unbox Therapy? No. He's the, he's the biggest dude, the biggest unboxer on YouTube. The biggest. He unboxes shit from China, phones that he's supposed to have, whatever. And he always has the same thumbnail of holding whatever device he's reviewing like this at a kind of an angle. I go to my YouTube, he has a box. At this is normal thumbnail angle. The box says Apple Mask. An Apple Mask. It says Apple Mask. Now it says Apple Mask, but I'm clicked on it like it's not an Apple Mask. Like it's mask. electronic? Like, just wait. It's not an Apple Mask. Just wait. Just wait. I'm like, man, no way this is Apple Mask. It's, maybe it says mask and it's like it's just a device that they call mask. Right? <laughs> Nigga, it's a fucking mask, bro. A paper mask it's paper with what? special folds at the top and bottom to make it more secure. I am. I am. What? I am done. Are you saying Apple? Like Apple, the company, the company Apple, Apple made a, made paper a mask. fucking mask, bro. It might be the new some kind of material, but it looked like a white, plain white paper so mask. Like fucking Teflon. <laughs> like, Nigga, I'm. Why? Why, bro? <clears throat> and I think it's like hella money. Hold on. I'm so I, confused. That threw me off. I can't even watch Unbox Therapy no more. I mean, I guess it's a good business. No, it's sense not. Sense on Apple's part. No, it's not my guy. No, it's not my guy. <laughs> oh, they got a special little loop de loop so you can pull me. the ear tags back to get a snugger fit. I know snugger ain't a I'm surprised word. it's not Bluetooth and fucking, you know, connects to your phone. Just or look some at that shit. assortment of pictures, bro. Trash. I'm sick of it. I'm moving on because I hate you. I hate you all who are profiting off this mask. What? This mask. Look at that. All right, I'm going. I'm, I'm moving what? on. I got. I'm, it just I'm, looks like a mask. I'm appalled again. It just looks like a mask. But look, it's flat, and then like you unfold this top part, you unfold this bottom part. It's supposed to wrap around your chin. It's a it's a dope idea, but it's not. That's not. Look, I got to see. They got one with plastic covering so you can see your mouth in that one. They got enough money, <laughs> and this is fucking stupid. Let's stop. Let's stop. Yeah, you know they're the first company to hit a trillion dollars. You yeah. know that? F- <clears throat> fuck, fuck you guys. I'm sorry. Hey, keep playing this on Apple Podcast. Follow us on the, on Apple. Podcast. Oh, uh, <laughs> I'm even more pissed off, Shane. I'm even more pissed off. I didn't even know I was. Why? Off. I didn't even know I was pissed off with these things when I was writing them. <laughs> the worst remake ever. A lot of people ain't gonna agree. I don't give a shit. What's the worst remake ever, Shane? Last year, that you think? Hmm. Cartoon to live action remake. I just want to see if you can guess. You might. Uh, you're probably gonna say Lion King. Yes, sir. Give him a motherfucking gold medal. That nigga knows some shit. Mm-hmm. I think uh, it was last year, so yeah. I they agree. doing another one. It's a prequel to the Lion King. Yeah, and it's live action. Wow. I'm done. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing this, bro. Like they're stupid for that because it's gonna be a huge budget. Wait, well, they're gonna make money. All it's you fucking people Disney. that like that movie, man. They're just not in. They they didn't watch. They didn't care for the old one then. If you liked, if you loved better, the old one as a kid, there's no I way you liked it as much. I don't think that's there's no good way. Enough excuse, Shane. 
I'm just saying. I want to yeah. get. I was, I was just about to say like I gave you that, but then I'm like, no, no, because then you just go watch the other one and realize how boo boo the other one was. You already, you already, they already well, made money. I'm saying if you're like. Track. If you're not from our generation, I guess. Like, if you're a kid and you didn't really care for the nigga, like, we ten years apart. They ain't got nothing to do with it either. That's true. I'm I'm thinking like maybe like well, my, actually, my sister, my sister's thirteen. She didn't. We I I took her to the movies to go see it with me. You so, told me, yeah, you told yeah, me and she that. didn't like. it. I think it was like the first person I told how bad it was outside of Special K. Yeah, she didn't like yeah. it at all. Bro, <clears throat> trash. Good news. Good news. They won't be remaking. You know, they were talking about doing Bill and Ted Four, another Bill and Ted remake. Oh, after this one, yeah. The Stop. writer said, hell no. Nah. Thank so God. that was good news. Hey, don't ruin that. I don't know what your name man. is. Hey, I'm giving out. Yo, thank you, man. Thank you. Cause are you gonna watch the the nope. this one? You're nope. not at all. Nope. I watched Zombie Land two before I watched that shit. Anyway. Please watch Zombie Land two, dog. Fuck. <laughs> like, just watch it. <laughs> Why are you yelling? <laughs> Sorry. Why are you yelling, man? You always show this about us. This is Evans podcast. And I'm leaving. No. I'm excited. Um, some more. <laughs> uh, you know, eh, news. Okay. Uh, Cardi B mm-hmm. has trade or or is trying to trademark. I didn't check the source. I can't remember if I saw this. It might have been TMZ, which is pretty. You know, they don't really get shit wrong. Um, she trademarked the word WAP, bro. Wow, smart or not? Isn't WAP like a derogatory word for Italians? Yeah, but I think it's. I don't think it's spelled like that. It might be WAP, bro. Everybody say it different. Everything I watch is WAP. I always WAP. heard WAP. I don't give a fuck what it is, guys. You know I don't blame saying? her. I mean, try to get, go get your money. I don't, you know, I don't blame her. But I just thought that was smart. But how are you? Ba- I think it's smart too. I don't. But how are you about to trademark wet ass pussy? You I know mean, what I'm but saying? you're not trademarking it. You're trademarking sure WAP. Yeah. Oh. Capital W, capital A, capital P. More people started saying it be- um, because of that song, I guess. But, uh, mostly and making fun a, of. Hey, that's trashy too. Like to all the ladies, like you saying in a regular conversation, talking to dudes, like out at the bar or whatever. Don't say that. That's that's terrible. Yeah, that's gross. I would. That's I terrible. Would, I like you would have never said nothing about your stuff before. No gentleman. Now you say that. That's hot. No, n- no nigga, that. you won't. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I mean, someone gross and desperate. I mean, maybe I don't care. It's Facebook generation, COVID personalities and all. I don't know though. Anyway, uh, honorable mention. Not even honorable. Oh, can I say something? Real Go quick? ahead, bro. So what's sorry. up? You just you because got, I know that. you got some BS too. So no, no, no. It's just going. Go I just thought of that because what you're saying. I, uh, my buddy was. Just, we were just talking about this the other day. Uh, there's a video I, did, I don't know if I, I can't I, I think I remember it But apparently if She gets in the taxi Cardi B gets in the taxi And was and was like Airing out her Airing out her pussy Or whatever This is before the song WAP And uh, and like the, There's like video of her doing it you, yeah. know, you know what I'm saying Like in the taxi And then the taxi guy Went on Twitter Or whatever And said that it his taxi smelled so bad Probably after she did. left. But then, and then she like got mad and like, and she fucking like, you know, threatened him to, you better take that down. But he was just like, dude, it was gross. Hey, <laughs> hey any, anybody's hoo ha can stink. Yeah. So give a fuck. she's, gross. Guy, good she's and, gross. Yeah. I don't, like, <clears throat> I don't like the whole purpose. Yeah. So hey, I still fuck with you, though, Meg Stein. Good girl. Listen. <laughs> hey. 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 She, ain't, she don't carry it. Like, is her foot okay? She just don't come out with Did she lose a toe or anything? Because you got shot in no, the No, no, nah, bro. No, nah, bro. That's, that's, we ain't gonna talk about that. We can talk about it next week. That shit is, that shit has gone so far, bro. You know I keep up on all that little stupid shit, <laughs> bro. Oh, I want to hear it now. No, nah, man, it's just too much. Then we gotta talk about Tory Lanez. We gotta talk about the album. We gotta talk about what was said. Like we can do it another time, man. Another time, another time, bro. Another time. Um, oh, Gwyneth yeah, Paltrow. I know all that. Gwyneth Paltrow. <laughs> put your clothes on. Put your clothes on. Put your goddamn clothes on. Why? Gwyneth what Pal- happened? Gwyneth Paltrow. She put a picture naked for her birthday. She turned forty-eight. She put a picture naked on Instagram. Put your clothes on, girl. Was it bad? No, it probably wasn't. I ain't looking at it. I just, oh. I just feel like you're, <laughs> you're like, ass, put your clothes on. You're grown Ew. ass, you're grown ass lady. Put your goddamn clothes on. What are you doing? COVID person. You got COVID personality too. Yeah. Put your goddamn clothes on, Gwyneth Paltrow. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, what's good for people who watch the show? I just, I just hate the lady and never watched the show. I'm just tired of hearing her name. Carol Baskin's got eliminated. Carol Baskin, <laughs> that fucking bitch. <laughs> <laughs> she got uh, eliminated from Dancing with the Stars. Why? And, and people rejoiced because she probably can't dance. I don't know, nigga. Oh, I, I thought you knew why she got she eliminated. Was on oh, she got. Stars. Oh, she, she just got. Oh, I get yeah, what you she just didn't I thought there was the a reason. Like they were like, no, you got to get off. Nah, she just didn't qualify. <laughs> like, get the oh. fuck out of here, Carol Baskin. You fucking bitch. <laughs> <laughs> we only brought you on here so we can kick your ass off. <laughs> it wasn't. It wasn't. You know, nothing crazy, bro. I mean, if it was, I don't know nothing about she it. Killed her husband, or killed him. So whatever the fuck it's that's all. Right. <laughs> what BS you got, bro? I know you said you have some BS to the table. Table. Are you Sonya? Oh, uh, oh, the UFC destroyed. Fight. I missed it. I missed it. This one. Yeah, he destroyed. Um, what is his name? Fuck. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, I got you. Yeah, go thank ahead, you. Go ahead, go ahead. 
Oh, it was dope. It was so dope. So, uh, the first round of the fight, um, it just went, he was pretty much just like, so when you tell me his name. No, no, go ahead. Cause I ain't found it yet. <laughs> hold on, um, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Adesanya, bear with this podcast, man. I better get over this shit. Adesanya versus, it wasn't Costa, was it? Costa, yeah. Okay, so okay, Costa, okay, okay, okay. So Costa, his style is he usually just like. Just, you know, because he's huge, dude. He's like, he's, I mean, he's built. And he just, like, comes at you, like, crazy. And then, you know, and a lot of people you just kind of, like, just take all those punches and stuff or they're not ready for it. And uh, and what Ari Asanya said is, he's like, he's like, he's used to fighting, like, punching bags. And I'm not a punching bag. You know what I mean? Yeah. So so he was, like, so it kind of seemed like he intimidated him because he was not doing that. He barely threw any punches. So the first round, Ari Asanya just is, like, tearing up his legs, dude. Like, if you saw his legs, dude, his entire like knees and calves were just swollen to shit. We call that the intimidator yeah. badge in the, in the 2K community. Oh yeah, you know what I mean? <laughs> and Arya said that when they were on the island, he had like some girls with him that that were like pretty much there just to laugh at his jokes. He goes, "Oh, you got some laughers? What a douche!" Like <laughs> it's just funny. So he beats up his legs. After that first round, they come in the second round. Literally, almost immediately, dude, he's like, he's he starts throwing like because he was kicking at his legs the whole time. So then he starts throwing those head kicks, mm. fucking clips him on the uh, on the temple. And he's bleeding asap. He's just so precise. And then um, then he just started actually like boxing him, mm. and then gets on top of him and just starts grounding, pounding, and um, and oh, then right and right when they call uh, right when they uh, said that he won, he fucking Arisanya humped him twice real quick before he wow. got up. Because <laughs> he had him like you know in the fetal position, like on your knees, hey, you know. Defeat. And he was on top, was just like like hitting both of his sides of his face. And then yeah. when they said it was done, he was just like bam, bam. <laughs> it was hey, hilarious, that's, bro. That's the feet. Hey, yeah. And because because they were talking hell of shit. Dude brought that belt, like went the way in and was like, and you know what I mean. Like he was talking hell of shit. That's so the he feet, deserved bro. it. <laughs> yeah, that's the. Feet. He would have been gloating too if he won. You know what I'm saying? And I know he would have because he was gloating before the fight. You know. Dang. Talking about he's skinny and shit, and he was like, I don't know, like there's something about Hollywood that makes people think you got to be big to be a fighter. He goes, nah, fuck bro, that, I got what, precision. That's <laughs> like, the, hey, that's the dumbest shit ever. If you believe that, you gonna get your ass whipped in no time. Mm-hmm. They ain't got shit to do with nothing, that's right? A bunch of big soft ass niggas, bro. Yeah, I'm trying to tell y'all, like, he yeah. wants to fight John Jones now, and John Jones tweeted, he was like, bro, I will literally rip your arms off. Is what John Jones said. He's like, I've been training to be in heavyweights. Like and like so, I God, I hope that happens. But John Jones is a fighter. He'll, John Jones got a beast. different when he says it. John Jones is but a that don't mean he beast, can just beat bro. his ass though. Yeah, but John, all it takes is one right connection. Bro. Yeah, they honestly they're almost like identical in size and um in in uh, arm um like reach. I feel like, like the fight style is totally different though. Yeah, they are. That's what would be awesome. So like they're almost the same height and their and their reach is basically the same. The only difference is their weight. Ari is one eighty five. John Jones is two hundred five and he's trying to get up to the heavyweights. Yeah. Like so he says like so that's the only difference. So if they actually got to the same weight, that'd be a fucking fire yeah, fight. That would, bro. Be, that would be fire. I would love to see that. Hell yeah, bro. What else you guys say? Uh, we all excited about the fight. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And but today before Shane get into it, today we are we doing a ten year difference, y'all. You know what I mean? Main topic is It's a cool idea. I love me, that. me and Shane, you know, that was dope. It took me some time, bro. You know what I'm saying? But me and Shane ten years apart. So we're doing I don't know why I did ten, 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 but we're doing Ooh, sorry. Nice. We're doing, <laughs> we're doing movies that came out when we both turned ten. So the year that we mine was ninety three. You know what I'm saying? And yours was what two thousand three. Yes. So it's gonna be some fire. Hey, ninety three was a good year. Shane said oh three was a good year, but that's what we get into our main topic. Ninety three, I bet is a better year for sure. Yeah, I, but, um, I, I I think so. But what other BS you got popping, dog? Uh, Joiner Lucas. So today is Tuesday, as it's you all Tuesday. know. It's Tuesday. Joiner Lucas's new album apparently is coming. It's Join- supposed to be September thirtieth, which is tomorrow, which is Wednesday. So if you're watching this, today's Friday, and you didn't know this yet, go watch that shit because I bet it's fire. I can't wait. So excited, Joiner. I, I want to see. I want to see the videos, bro. I can't wait. Yeah, His I can't wait for that too. You know, I don't know if I told you this. Did you know he? I don't know if he still does it this way. He probably does. But you know how he was coming out with video after video before he was like really getting big. I think that that's what got him so popular is that his videos were so good. The like video, I'm not like it was, like, a, it was the remixes too though. Yeah, and the remixes the for sure. He was doing the most popular songs and right. eating them. But not everybody. A likes, lot of people was doing the remixes, but he was eating them. Eat them. And then he had the dope little animation. Right. Right. Literally the dope, just a regular loop. Mm-hmm. But you know even I mean? before the remixes, like he has that song backwards. Yeah, yeah. You know, and that was a video. And then Ross Capriccioni, I think that was the first, his first video. So I think he was trying to stand out by showing that he can rap about some real shit. And then he went into the remixes to show that he could fucking rap. Yeah, his the remixes ass off, blew You know what I'm though. saying? So like, um, 
Gu- uh, Gucci Gang, his Gucci Gang, that's when he took off, bro. Yeah. But he said that he would write his songs backwards. So he would write the video first. Once he knew what he was, like, once he had the video Dude, planned out, then fire. he knows exactly how he can rap the song. I'm guessing that makes sense. Like that song, Keep It 100, you know, where it's in the point of view of the $100 bill. Yeah. So once you th- thought of that video, I bet writing that song was probably easy so well. easy, you know? That's pretty dope. Yeah, it's I mean, like, that's it's like what writing, makes him like, unique. It's literally like writing a story. Right. Like visualizing and writing at the same time. I love that. That's dope. Um, you got anything else? Nope. All right. That's it. Good news. Maybe. I'm not a big spinoff person. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, depending on the show, I'll give it a chance. Like, I'm probably not going to watch the Game of Thrones spinoff. You know what I mean? Walking Dead spinoff. I heard they, got, they weren't going to do that. They ain't going to do it no more? I heard, like, yeah, I heard a while ago that they uh, just said well, they're not doing that. Okay, well, shit, I'm behind. Yeah. Good. Well, I'm glad because I wasn't going to It might come back up. I wasn't going to watch it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because I can't do it. Um, Walking Dead did really good with their spinoffs, like, because... Um, what was that one called again? Um, I'm trying to think, bro. Something The Walking Dead. It was still Walking Dead, but it was something The Walking Dead. That shit was better. Fear of The Walking Dead. There you go. That shit was fire. Yeah, I I, I, st- I started watching it. That was when I was still into The Walking Dead, and I was like kind of bored in the beginning, yeah. and I just didn't keep up with it. I, sh- I mean, there is another Walking Dead coming that <clears throat> I forgot to mention last week. So um, is it like in a different state? I can't remember. I should I, sh- I should have looked it up. But I just remembered it just now. That, but I, I saw the paper when I was cleaning up. Anyway, um. I'm so I'm kind of over those, and I don't even like I don't like slow slow zombies anymore either. I, I'm kind of in for the, See, the, like, the fast and running. I don't ones. watch them for that. Oh, I just think that they're more scary. I watch them for it's the drama. So, I watch them for the drama. I did love it. The I drama. See who gonna be, Walking who Dead gonna was fire. That was probably my favorite show for a while, and then they it, it's just one of those shows that just go on too long, like Lost. Like you know, like you were you it had me for a while. Been going on too long. You know, you had me for a while, and then then you just start to lose me. You they should have spun off and then killed one as they spun off. Mm-hmm. Like just kill one. Like this show's done. But honestly, I will say they have done a good job with the story pacing. Like, sure. it's just the same zombies, same uh, sure. same deaths. But they are very creative at changing up. Um, yeah, they were doing a good job. They like, just build, how they, they, build, they build a season up to kill somebody. Mm-hmm. Build the next season up to kill somebody. But let's get into it. The Boys is going to have a spinoff. Oh, really? Huh. Yeah, it's supposed to be in the works. It doesn't have a name yet. And I'm going to give you it word for word what it's about. Them. Because, um, but uh, description is. Set at, set at America's only college, exclusively for young adult superheroes or soups. Um, it's run by Vault International and is described as an irreverent R-rated series that explore explores their lives of hormonal competitive soups as they put their physical, sexual, and moral boundaries to the test, competing for the best contracts in the best cities. Part ah. college show, part college show, part Hunger Games, with all the heart, satire. And Ranch of the Boys. This is, it kind of sounds like how the Seven maybe was formed. Like they they were competing to be a part of this group. Yeah, you know, I would I like anything superhero, so I'd watch any spin off of the Boys. Like if if it's superhero stuff, like I'm gonna watch it. I don't know, bro. You know, if you can go, you can you can fuck it up though. Obviously, there's been some superhero I feel like that's shit gonna be that's been easy fucked up. To fuck up. It is an easy one. I think any of them are easy to fuck up. But I think they could still do a good job as long as they had, the, the cast is what I think is super important, right? If you got good yeah, actors yeah. or even because they don't have to well, be known actors that and the as writing. long as you get a good one, yeah. The and, the, writing, and then the writing, yeah, you're right. The writing is the I most. Think the important. writing is first, yeah. Yeah, but you need even a bad yeah. actor to writing. Like you're, you're totally right. And yeah. I'm gonna say again, bro. Birds of Prey was kind of fire. You watched it? Oh, great! I told yeah. you that last week. I was like, oh, you did? Okay. Yeah, but like, but yeah, but we did just go over like, bro, that shit was fire. Yeah. So let me ask I you a question, it, bro. I loved it. I thought it was great. I actually, I really actually, it was way better than Suicide Squad. I liked it. I, there's some parts I oh, thought were corny. Yeah, it was killing it. That what was the, the it girl? Was good corny though. The girl with the where she had the, the 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 black eyes. You know what I'm talking about? She's in a lot of movies. Oh, I had her role. You talking yeah. about Ramona Flowers? Yeah, she was so bad in this movie, bro. and she's a good actress. So I know it was the writing that made her. The thing about bad. her is, bro, she is only allowed to be Ramona Flowers. Yeah, she is in a lot of good movies. Though. She's only allowed to be Ramona Flowers, bro. That's from uh, mind, Scott's. Yeah, Scott yeah. Pilgrim says, "Get it right, man." That's one of the Sorry, most, that's one of the best movies ever. Uh, I said Scott a brain Pilgrim part. saves the world, bro. Um, versus she, the world. She's in the re- me, re- remake of the. Too. She's in the remake of the thing, and she does a good job. I feel like I've seen I her in a couple thing. things that she didn't do. And uh, the one, I feel like she was in that movie where it was like Cloverfield was like Lane a, too, with John Goodman, where they have like a uh, um a bunker. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. That's a really good. I saw that in theaters. She was in Sky High. It's a superhero movie. What the fuck is that? You never saw Sky High? It was like a Disney movie or something. Um, um, oh, I know what you're talking it's about. It's like a no, it's like a school of superheroes. I know what you're talking about. And they and it was kind of it's kind of funny because they separate them from heroes and sidekicks. Yeah, my, so the sidekicks are the nerds and the heroes are the heroes. Yeah, my daughter likes that show or liked. That I show. liked it when it, it's ex- you probably would like it too if you haven't seen it. Yeah, I, don't, I haven't seen it, but I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Um, 
But yeah, man, I think that's all I got for the BS, bro. Spinoff, eh, I can do that spinoff. Apple mask and kiss my ass. Oh, I got one more thing. Um, since we are, I am doing a YouTube thing. We are on YouTube now. The reaction thing might be dead, especially for music. It's reactors getting strikes and losing their channels right now. Really? I'm talking about like five million subscribers. For, out of, out for of, copyrights? And yeah, stuff. out of nowhere. Motherfuckers just claiming shit and striking the channel. You get three strikes. I got claims on my channel. Do you think it'll happen to No Life Shack since he's so big or, or any of those other, or like, um, or DJ, um, DJ Ghost? I don't, I don't know, bro. I think, because I remember reading something, because, you know, that's what I do on a daily basis, like trying to learn the system and shit. Mm-hmm. But I remember reading something that said, uh, the way that YouTube's copyright claim system is, is mm-hmm. that you don't even have to be the owner to claim the copyright or some shit. Like, that's so dumb. There's a, there's a way you can claim it. Or, like, it's something weird like that. That's dumb, though. That's, like, free publicity for you. All publicity is good publicity, right? Like, yeah, I mean, but, that's just people but, reacting to your shit. But, wait, like, after, after doing it, after reading, after researching, watching videos, and, you know what I mean, small and big. If, like, say if No Life Shack, say if, say if Lil Baby dropped a video, mm-hmm. and No Life Shack reacted to it two hours later. Oh, like, right away. Yeah. Gotcha. He gonna get, he gonna get just as much money off that video as Lil Baby is. Oh, feel me? Mm-hmm. So like that's that's mm. that's why like because when I be reacting, I'm like I'm gonna get on shit first, but then I'm like I look at Shaq, I look at Screw, I'm like these niggas ain't reacting yet. Why they ain't reacted yet? Yeah, maybe they know something, something they reacted to. Mm-hmm. You can't do it that fast. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm not saying you can't. This is not this is not official, but this is what I know from research and watching and paying attention every single fucking day. Mm-hmm. And, and like you said, Eminem is different. Like he don't care or something like that. He didn't right? make all this shit. Is old. He didn't make his money, bro. But and he doesn't. From no, just from that's just from no life Shaq saying that he don't he don't claim a lot of his shit from him. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like Eminem's people were Eminem was not claiming, but like he's big enough to send emails and shit. Mm-hmm. But hey, bro, can I fucking use this song? Can you move the copyright claim? And like, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like watch this episode when he talks about how much money he makes. He got an episode where he talks about how much money he makes. I saw he had a forty thousand dollar check. Yeah, he talks about all that shit. He said you got to get like up to a million views, and then they you get like a forty thousand dollar check and a plaque or some shit yeah, like yeah, that. Right? That's simple. Yeah, I w- it's not. You get no. Nah, it's all about it's clicks per minute. CPMs matter in it. It's all about that. So Where did you learn all this? Shit? Like the, on the, like Google, like and just I mean, read bro, stuff. That's what I do, bro. Well, uh, I was I, just curious because I, I watch other to, I watch other YouTubers, and they uh, constantly and they talk about that. Yeah, every that's YouTuber cool. has an episode where they talk about their shit. And there's, I always wondered that. And there's stuff. a bunch of people that just do YouTube to teach you how to do it. But that's boring, man. That's boring. Um, let's get to this entertainment shit. You all know right. what I mean? Get the entertainment out the way, and then we're gonna do this ten year thing. Okay. I got admittance, and I want you to think of one if you can. We doing a movie admittance and entertainment every week. A movie that you ashamed to say you like. Admittance. I was like, "What do you mean?" Okay. Like, you got admittance. Yeah, it you might, got it might not be a word. I, just like I, I got some mittens. <laughs> <laughs> well, kitten mittens. I got the kitten mittens. Is in. your cat making too much noise, bro? <laughs> I love the movie Cowboys versus Aliens. Um, I, I you that, know that's, that's, I never that's watched that movie all the way that's through. My guilty pleasure, bro. I saw parts of it. Okay, I love that movie. Everybody has a movie they'd be like, oh, I actually like that. Everybody's in the room like, that movie was garbage. You damn right, this shit was butt cheeks. You see the scene where it's one like you just like, I actually kind of like that movie. It's pretty good. You <laughs> know what I mean? Everybody has a movie like that. Mm. You know what I mean? And that's one I got a couple, but I got I I, I was watching that this morning. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm like, ooh, Cowboys vs. Aliens. This is on HBO. Like, I got excited, nigga. <laughs> I was excited to watch what Cowboys vs. Aliens. This shit is dope. That's funny. Kill what none of y'all say, man. He nigga was whooping ass. James Bond? The James Bond nigga, what's his name? New James Bond? Oh, Daniel Craig. Daniel Craig? Yeah, that nigga it. was whooping ass. Then you had old ass Harrison Ford. <laughs> and he was old, trying to be tough. That movie's fire, bro. <laughs> dope as fuck. Um, Nurse Ratchet. We are not going to talk about Nurse Ratchet this week. But... I'm going to mention I'm going to say Because if you listen to us And you ain't seen that I don't know if we that big But that's dope If you like listen to us And you ain't watch Nurse Ratchet. That's fire Um, But it's it's dope Nurse Ratchet is dope If you haven't watched it Didn't you say it was a remake of something? It's a it's One a, Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest? It's a prequel To One Who Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest So because uh, in the in One Who Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest It's Nurse Ratchet That Jack Nicholson gets The other psychiatric patients To rebel against Hey and uh, she's not that evil in the movie. Like I get, like I, she kind of is because she's, she's like she's very I condescending. Told you, I and, told you, don't think about nothing. You don't, yeah. you don't even know nothing. You don't know nothing. Have you seen? Have you seen one in of the Cuckoo's Nest? No, but you don't. But you, you don't, haven't. Oh. No, but you're saying she's not that evil. You don't know she's evil in the series neither. No, oh. you gotta watch that movie, bro. It's on Netflix. I've probably seen it way back. It's got Danny DeVito. Young. It's Danny DeVito's first movie. He doesn't have very many lines. Or like he, brothers. 
Huh? Are they brothers? In the movie? Is Danny DeVito got like a brother and they doing shit? No, that's twins. <laughs> oh, okay. No, this one, dude. No, I'm dude, thinking of something else. If I showed but you. Think, if, about, think about Throw Mama from the Train with Danny throw DeVito. Throw Mama from the Train, yeah. That's with Danny movie. DeVito in it, though, for some reason. Yeah, I got to show you what Danny DeVito looked like in this movie because it doesn't even look like him. But, um, so Jack Nicholson, he goes, he gets sent to, well, he was in prison for, he had sex with a 15 year old who he, he, he thought was 18. Like, he's like, that's what she told me. Like, you know, so that's yeah. why I'm here. And then he, uh, I guess he pled insane or some shit, like, while he was in jail. So they sent him to a psych ward, so he's just trying to get out of it. And, uh, and dude, he's so funny. But um, there's just a bunch of, he just, I don't know, he tries to get the other psychiatric people to rebel against Nurse Ratchet because she doesn't let them have any fun or whatever the case. And I'm, Bruh, but that's basically it. This movie is fire. What? I mean, show is fire. Oh, Nurse okay. Ratchet. This fucking... I don't want to get So that's a, about how she gets to the psych ward. Is basically what that shows about. Yeah, see, then. if this is this is supposed to be a prequel to that, mm-hmm. I don't see that at all. Yeah. Like, well, no, I can see her ending up in a psych ward, but I don't this definitely didn't build up to that. This definitely had like its own story. And she was like more of a savior to anything. Bro, I can't give y'all nothing. Danny DeVito's on the right. I see. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, <laughs> he that's, looks that's, so young. Snowman. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but I can't give y'all, I can't even talk about this. I just want to mention it and make sure y'all watch it because I can't talk about it yet. Shane hasn't started watching it. And I don't. Wanna, I saw that part where the guy kills the dudes in the bathroom. No, shush. Shush, um. we don't do that here. We don't spoil here. Oh. Well, unless, we, unless we spoil. <laughs> if we don't spoil, we're going to spoil. Okay. But you ain't even watching it yet. You can't, be, you can't be the one to spoil. You ain't seen nothing yet. All right, you're right. So, Golly, so. man. Well, this excuse nigga watched, me. This nigga watched half episodes and then he Gilbert Godfrey. <laughs> excuse me. But you no. should watch that movie. You'd really like it. I know. I'm going to check it out, bro. But uh, it's the same producers of fucking American Horror Story, bro. It's got like three the people. Tile, too. Three people from the cast. You can tell by the way the story plays. The bro, shit's fire. I they have good cinematography. I mean, no spoilers, those. so I'm, I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave it. The devil all the time. We talked about the devil all the time last it's week. A really good movie. I Tom was surprised. Holland, Robert Pattinson. Uh, who else was in that shit? It was one more person. Um, one more. Um, Bill Skarsgård. One more goat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 AKA got, it the clown, bro. Mm-hmm. So, Netflix original. Really. Uh, <laughs> How many puffs? Really, really fucked up. I'm gonna give it five. Me That's too. five puffs, bro. That's five puffs. I agree. Originality. I agree. Tom Holland. I just, I just, I like Tom Holland as an actor. I feel like he could do big things, and it was good to see him in a different role. I agree. And he killed it. He did. He did a great job. Well, I don't even know where to start. Where do we start? I'm trying to think the the premise. I told you I had some trouble remembering it. Well, uh, I mean, first of all, I I liked the movie because it was it was perfect example of just great storytelling. And character building, one hundred percent. That's what made the movie Bro, so that good. That shit was amazing. It really was. Like, yeah. um, and they and they the character build so subtly. Yeah. You know. Um, and I know Tom Holland. He started as a kid. Yeah. So with his, uh, well, Bill it, Bill Skarsgård. Oh, I, I remember. Bill Skarsgård is the dad, and he was in, uh, I think it was uh, World War Two. Yep. Yep. And he saw like a Jap or one of his soldier or one of his friends or some shit crucified, like, yep. and was like totally like eaten alive by bugs and shit, and then was still alive. So he had to shoot him to take him out of his. Yeah, that shit was wild. Yeah. So he had a hard time looking at crosses and praying. Yeah. Because like so totally understandable. He didn't end up meeting meeting you know the diner girl. Yeah, you know right. what I'm saying. I can't remember her name. Yeah, um, we're gonna go through this kind of fast, bro. But it's just, but he ends up meeting the Diner Girl. Spoiler alert! Big spoiler alert. We talking about we can talk about this movie together, um, because I got some questions, bro. But meets meets the, meets the mom, the diner chick. You know what I mean? They a dope ass couple. You know what I'm saying? I, mm-hmm. I liked it. I fucked with it. Um, they had a son, and that was Spider Man. I mean Tom Holland. You know Peter Parker. They had a son named Peter Parker. Uh, nah, but I don't know his name in the movie. Um. And of course, it's beautiful. It's lovely. Trauma hits. The mom gets cancer. Um. And the dad didn't dad like didn't Skarsgård have like that emotional PTSD shit popping off? Well, when he like losing his shit a little bit already anyway. When he a little off. Yeah, it, to you know it rewind just a little bit because um, it it was like really good with the character building. It was very important. Yeah. Is uh, um, before his mom gets cancer. You know, he like he when he meets her, he, it's when he got the urge to pray again, is what they say. Like he just started, and he built yeah, his he got really, little cross. He got really into yeah, that, he yeah. started getting back into being religious and and praying a lot or whatever. And then um, his son kept coming home with black eyes and stuff. So he told him, you know, that we're we're gonna go and pray. So they're praying about the black guy, and he told him no, no bullshit and 
um, you know, just be honest. Like yeah, when yeah, you're praying. He was heavy on that. Yeah, and then these yeah. two poachers are walking by and they're talking about going back and fucking his wife while they're praying and all these things and you know mm-hmm. fucking with them. And Bill Skarsgård t- uh, tells his son, he goes, "This is God's time. Like we like we like the, something like that. Like yeah. so, just keep praying." And then Bill Skarsgård, the you know, like just a few days later, takes his son out uh, for a drive or whatever. And he goes and meets with those two poachers that were at the store. Walks out and beats their fucking ass. Yeah, awesome. bro, that's, that's what, where that, the movie got me. I was like, hell what, yeah! That's what All I right, I'm drawing that's, in. That now. shit had me from jump. Yeah. Well, like I was like, I was like, uh, bro, that shit had me from jump. It Just seemed the like way I was it like, came on was like, yep. Yeah, that's it. I was liking it too, but I was kind of like, I wonder how long it's gonna take before something to happen. You know what I mean? Because it was yeah. so. Because uh, but then he goes out and whoops their ass, bro. And he's like, see, you just you need to pick the right time. So that's why I said it was important. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. that's like pretty much the trend that he keeps. For the rest of his life Is you know Picking the right time and Yeah but he, he didn't His, you know his I mean? life wasn't long You know what I'm saying His life wasn't long at all Like um, Cause like right The mom got cancer Like he was still In the same shit Just pray for yeah, him Yeah and his him. dad was like Being a dick about it Like he uh, remember yeah. He smacked him on yeah, the head He son, goes pray for your mom was like Starting to get to point Like bro this ain't gonna Fucking help Like yeah, he was getting to that point. Yeah, and he was like, making, but he was kind of like they were making like cult like. He was like, that's the. He was like, we're not doing anything. I think it was cult like for him because he was already emotionally unstable, bro. Like mm-hmm. he gave everything to her and whatever the fuck she put him on. Mm-hmm. That was what he was committed to. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So I think no matter what it was, he was gonna be fucking fanatic. About right. It. There was a lot of cult like religious stuff in the movie. Yeah. Did you catch? We don't break down every single thing though. So be right. We hear another whole hour and a half. Right. <laughs> but, but you know, did you catch who the preacher was? Did he look familiar to you? The crazy preacher that kills his uh, his wife with the and then tried to resurrect her. That was nuts. I can't remember his face. Okay. Dude, when I saw it, I didn't even have to look it up. Bro, how did he kill her? I'm trying to remember this scene. Stabbed her with the screwdriver. Bro, that neck. shit was wild. Bro. Yeah. And then I was like, damn. So it, like I it was so what was crazy to me is when he did that, I thought it was like you know one like he thought he had to sacrifice her to to God. That's yeah. what I thought he was doing, like Abraham kind of thing. Yeah. And then he thought, literally thought that he could resurrect her when he's like, resurrect, awake. And he was getting frustrated because he really th- God, come on now. Oh like, yeah, you the know younger I mean? dude. Yeah, yeah, the younger yeah. preacher. Yeah, yeah, got you, got you. Yeah. yeah, that preacher, not Robert Patterson. The rock and roll preacher dude. Um, did you did you say so you don't you don't you didn't look familiar to you? He, I'm trying to think now. Now I see his face bigger, dude. Yeah. Fuck. I'll give you a hint. He Tell used to be me. fat. Tell me, bro. It's Dudley from Harry Potter. Oh, For shit, sure. son. I didn't even have to look hey, it up. I was like, it definitely is him. He killed that. He killed that. Yeah. He killed that. That's beastly. Uh, but, yeah, Harry Mel- I, mean, I was right. Okay, so. But by no, the way, Tom Holland's is Arvin. Arvin. That's his Arvin. name. Arvin. Okay. Yeah. But, yeah, Um. so the mom dies. Um. The dad tries to pray through it, pray through it to the point of fucking insanity, pretty much. Um. I don't know how he died. He killed himself. But he was, okay. But he yeah, had a knife. He like right, he cut either right. he cut his wrist or he cut his own throat. Yeah, one the of boy the two. woke up. He couldn't really see because dad dark. was in the woods with the same cross. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Right, and, and he killed his dog beforehand and crucified the dog because he was sat because like what he was shit. doing he was he was thinking that if he gave a yeah, sacrifice he the dog to right God, in front of him. Yeah, he's yeah. like if he gave a sacrifice to God that he would save his wife. He goes now take our dog. We loved him. Yeah, please he save was my wife. He really really he was really in. He was trying everything he could. Yeah. It very don't, sad. It don't work like that, dog. Got to give, give faith and let go, kind of like thing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it was very sad. I mean, at least he yeah, had good intentions. He just wanted to save his wife. He just loved her very but you much. Can tell you know? you're super unstable. Yeah. But uh, we're gonna pick it up. Um, all that happens, man. Tom Holland finds. I think it was like a guy like the, the convenience store. Um, they end up calling the police. They end up finding his dad. <clears throat> and it's very specific cop comes. You don't know he's. You don't know it's important. You don't, you don't know it yet. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> he goes over to family. Is it relatives? Is that relatives? Like I told you, just a little guy. Yeah, he goes to. Him. He goes to his mom's house, so it's Bill Scar, his dad's mom's house, so it's his grandma's house, and then they're also looking after um, his stepsister, is what they yeah, say. Well, yeah. I was confused on how that works out. I don't get it. How it's stepsister, whatever. And yeah. his, uh, his, and uh, it's also Bill Skarsgård's uh, brother there, so it's Tom Holland's uncle, yada yada. So there, so there's two, or- so now it's two or like so basically his grandma and uncle, or maybe it's his aunt, I guess. I don't know, yeah. great aunt or something, looking after two orphans. Yeah. Um, yeah, and he pretty much, he pretty much immediately great people though. They were watching them. Yeah, know, he so. he immediately clung to the the girl. You know what I mean? Right. Like Wanted sister, protect her. sister style. Yeah, big. Yeah. Brother. And she's getting bullied by by boys. Bro, like, that's just so shit, weird. That's right? That's my first question, bro. You, getting, what? You're bullying a girl? Is that how I used to get down back in the fifties. No shit? way. I just like I thought that was a little weird. That like I mean, it should have been other girls. I don't get well, what. I, probably because they had to have time. I'm Hall sure it happens or something. I don't know. Was, like they were putting a bag over her head, punching her, kick. Like I just feel like I'm like sure all that, the all the I'm time. Sure that happens in places, but like every it's day, that's what it's disgusting. Like, they did that shit every day. Where she had to like run to the car to, for every him to take her. Every day, bro. Yeah. So like and that. 
I think yeah, that I was think, I think that was what pushed her into and why is she being singled out? Falling for the you know what I mean the Robert later Patterson. Yeah, I knew he was right. gonna be bad from the jump. Bro, like he was sleazy as shit. From the jump. But yeah, I they, hated his accent. Tom Holland has a relationship with the social media protector. She's going through some shit. She's like she's a people pleaser. You know what I mean? She's very religious. Yeah, super religious. But Pretty like, much brainwashed religious. Yeah, kind of I say like super you know? people please her, like just go along with whatever you say to sound good to her, like mm-hmm. or you make sound good. It probably don't sound good to her, but mm-hmm. you can and make Tom Holland is not religious too. He kind of lost his faith with his dad he's, and yeah, ruining it for him. But he learned you know? he learned a lot of shit from his dad. Like he did. He yeah. learned all that. Awareness. Learned how to be a man. He learned really. all that awareness, mm-hmm. all that shit. Mm-hmm. Um, and I want to mention now. I don't know when it came in. In the background of all this shit, we have a serial killer couple, y'all. Yeah. Who picks up the preacher, the one who kills the wife, who is the father well, of they pick the up, orphan. They pick up any inconspicuous traveler. He was the dude. first one, though. He wasn't the first. Yeah, they say that at the end. He was the first one. Was he the very he kept, first one? Yeah, because they kept the he, picture. They, are, they already had a shit ton of pictures, though, before him. They already had a bunch of pictures. Oh, there's well, maybe they okay. They did mention someone being the first one, and it was very special. Maybe the pic- fir- first. It was a picture that was in his wallet, county. maybe. Maybe, Okay. No, it would not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they do make they made they have this whole mention. I thought it was maybe the preacher that it was the first one. No, 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 no. It was just, it was just the first dude. Yeah, but yeah. I knew that was gonna that was going some weird way too. They weird. You know? They pick up inconspicuous people, and I think the first dude just was like hitchhikers. first dude was fresh fresh out of the military military before they got the preacher, and he was like, hey, did they like shoot his dick he was off like or all something? Goofy. Yeah, you saw that. Yeah, I, I was like, they didn't set, show it or anything. I guess like, you just assume it was some goofy dopey dude. We knew he was fool, and it was like. You having a picnic with strangers? You fucking picnic weirdo. with strangers, bro. They would like talk you into it, make you get naked, do stuff with the wife, pose with pictures. Husband would take the pictures and they pretty much kill you together. Yeah, and then take pictures of your dead body too. Yeah, posing. Like, wild shit. shit. So that's going on, and Tom Holland is dealing with home life. I don't think his home life was fucked up or nothing. No, just pr- trying to protect his stepsister. Trying to think of his personal shit. He ain't got no personal shit. He just pretty just much, trying to protect his stepsister. Yeah. Um. So we lose our reverend. You know what I mean? Who was the reverend to Tom Holland? His, his sister, his family. And we get a new reverend that introduces Batman. We call Robert, everybody superhero names today. Robert Patterson. Robert Pattinson. Did you like? I hated his accent in this movie. It was driving hey, me nuts. But he did good though. No, he did a good job. But like, it was pissing me off. I hated it too, but it was it was good though. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Um, please don't hit that camera, dogs. Um, but yeah. Anyway, sorry. It's okay. Got the puppers walking around, tails wagging and stuff. Um, damn it. Told you not to do it, and I did it. <laughs> but uh, so we introduced Robert Pattinson, sleazy, greasy, just <sighs> scummy. Like mm-hmm. you said, you hate his accent. He's basically a con man. He was like the what they say the, the, con, he, the con reverend. Yeah, and that's why you should see there will be blood because there's a there's a con reverend like that too. Doesn't really believe in the religion. You don't believe in any of this bullshit. You pretty much just use it, it to use to, people. Use it to use people, and everybody loves you, and they give you stuff. He embarrassed uh. Whoever um, he embarrassed uh, Tom Holland's family with the livers, remember? Pretty yeah. much saying whoever got me the that was Bro, like I what felt the so fuck? bad for that lady. Man. Hell yeah, and he's like in this this poor Tom plate. Was so like, I'm gonna eat. Tom Holland was like just take them, they're good. But no, like you know what I mean? He was like he probably wanted all of them things. That's like, why he did that. Like, That's why he did like, that. We can't afford no steaks. Like the livers, like he was he was real. He was the only real person. Everybody else mm-hmm. was kind of like gullible. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like everybody else didn't really know what. Life right. was about right. He was the only one that knew because he fucking been through everything for right. like, what eight or some shit. Yeah, had to grow up quick. You know yeah, but what he and said, he had a military dad. He had a, a common working class mom, city girl, kind of like close as you can get to it. Mm-hmm. So he knew some shit. Right. He had some street smarts. You know what I mean? Yeah. But we introduce him. He's giving his first sermon before the livers, um, or maybe it was. No, it was I think it was, I think I thought it was during maybe because they were given that they had Might a whole been. tray of food. Might How awkward been. is that? Is him making this plate with everybody watching him make this plate? I don't like livers, but they kind of look good. I ain't gonna lie, they look like some Chinese food. Yeah, she tried. Uh, That's why I was sad I don't like Chinese too. Food, though. Um, but and while the reverend is preaching, the new sleazy reverend, the sister is just falling in his hands before she before he even talked to her directly. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? She was just melting over him. Right. She's in the crowd like, yeah, it's reverend, all that shit. Not mm-hmm. saying it, but. You can see their eyes just glowing, mm-hmm. twinkling. Um, I'm trying to think where we go. Tom, I don't think Tom Holland's feeling them. I'm not sure because, of course, of the disrespect. But, you know, it's a small town. Everybody got to go with the reverend they fucking got. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Oh, where do we go from here? What happened? What so happened? Tom Holland picks her up from school, and uh, he goes to and um, he goes to drop her off at the graveyard so she can because she talks to her her dead mom every day yeah, with yeah. the Bible. 
Um, so he drops her off and he says, I'll come back to get you. And what he was doing is he was picking the right time. And that's when he goes and beats the shit out of the three bullies separately. Cause he, well, he beats up one with a, uh, he was having sex with his girl on the bus. He makes him come out and he beats the shit out of him with a wrench. That was dope. Yeah. And then the t- other two were working on a car and he beats the fuck oh, out of both beat of them. Ass. Yeah, it was awesome. That shit was fire. Yeah, super hey, he dope. Beat Love it. Ass. Slammed a motherfucking head in the trunk. Yeah. This movie was brutal, bro. That's why I like. He it. put the bag around one of his head and started punching him with the bag on his head. Yeah. Yeah. This shit was just super awesome. wrong. This movie was wrong. So while he's doing that, it starts raining and the sister, uh, Laura Lane or Laureen, uh, that was it was something like that. That was the um, sister's name. I can't remember. Yeah, yeah, that sounded um, right. Laureen sounded right. I had pulled it up. But um, anyway, so it starts raining. So she goes over to get under like some kind of a roof, and Robert Patterson is watching her from the church. So he opens the door and invites her in. Yeah, and she then, got it. She ran to the church though. Yeah, but there, she wasn't trying to yeah, go she inside. Was she was. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then he offers like they have a little conversation. And he's like, "Hey, would you want to go somewhere uh, where hey, I like to go hey, pray?" You knew what <laughs> like, was going on. Yeah, I was like, he Damn, talked he's to, about to rape her. He bro. Talked her into Fuck. praying naked because. You know, God accepts you better in the in, in what you were born. Lenora, in. that's her name. Okay, yeah. You know what I mean? He, I thought he was gonna rape her. At least he didn't rape her. But yeah, he still I was still he, really. No, she ended up being pregnant, bro. But he didn't rape her though. Well, I mean, it's she sad gave story, it to right? Him. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. She yeah. was willing. I thought he was gonna take her yeah, somewhere, yeah, and, like, and then she was gonna be like, "No, I'm like a you know, I'm church girl," and he was gonna like force it. So I was glad it didn't go that route because yeah. that's literally what I was thinking because it seemed like it was gonna go that way. Yeah. So we got that happening in the background of all this. Um. Old preacher ends up getting picked up by these sick motherfuckers, and you know the the, the couple, the serial killer, natural born killer couple, um, but the shitty version, um, which they did a good job in their roles. Um, but the wife the whole time is like kind of getting over it. I think right after him. Well, you got the 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 preacher, the one that's Laura uh, Lorraine's dad, and that was years ago. That was when she was a baby. No, I'm talking about uh. But yeah, they did pick up somebody else, yeah. and then she was like getting uh, sick of it, and um. She the, the like the military guy actually. Damn, that's right. Yeah. That's right. Because then what, she, called, she called. She yeah. called and said that. Uh, yeah. So like that one, they because like they jumbled the story up in the beginning, and then they give you some backstory on it. So yeah. So like uh, I think so. The next one was that Vietnam guy because like again, he, like so this is Vietnam. So now they're in the seventies. That's yeah. so that's the future. So they do that Vietnam guy wrong with the picnic and shit. And she even calls like his family or some shit to let him know that he wasn't. Um, you know, a coward or anything, yeah. or whatever. They was chopping down the bodies and shit. They were yeah. chopping pieces just to get rid of them. Yeah, and then um, her brother is the is a police officer who comes to talk to her and talk to him. And, I hated this nigga. Bro. Yeah, and it turns out to be the same cop who rescues Tom Holland as a kid when his father killed himself. I hate so it. Turns out his thing. sister is a serial killer with this guy. Yeah. So, yeah, so and, weird. And he, and he fucking I saw it where it. all I was going. Yeah, and he even found a picture of them because she was looking at the pictures when he knocked yeah, on he the door. Burnt, he she burnt dropped them one. All. He burnt them all. Yeah, that, yeah later around, on. But y'all yeah. get the gist. Yeah. Um, but he kept one because he found one on the floor and he kept it that day when he was talking with her. Yeah, yeah. You know, and he left. And uh, that's where, so he, that's when he found out what she was doing. So then when all the other shit happens later on, he already knew that they were guilty, but he had to go hide that evidence. So he mm-hmm. went back to go see, like, there has to be more pictures. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Shit was wild. Um, Super wild. So where do we go? Where do we go? I'm trying to think where we at. Uh, we got Nasty Reverend. Okay. So there's, the sister gets pregnant. She gets pregnant. She oh. is thrown up. She can't go to church, blah, blah, blah. And then you see a flashback of Robert Patterson telling her that she needs to either get rid of it or she's going to end up being the whore, yeah, whatever, type yeah, shit, being bro. super disrespectful. So she goes to kill you herself. really tried to act like you didn't have nothing to do with this Yeah, shit. fucking asshole, bro. It's terrible to see. So she goes to hang herself in the barn. And that that was like that was brilliant writing right there. That yeah. scene is because she puts the rope around her neck and standing on a bucket, and then the narrator goes, and then she realized that, you know, her grandma wouldn't just dis- like, oh, t- like take her. Like, her grandma wouldn't dismiss her. She would take care of her. Her grandma's because her grandma was like, an amazing person. She would never do, like do that. Yeah, grandma and, was the shit. Yeah, she man. was amazing. She's an amazing like lady. So she right then she knew that she can live and, and take care of this baby and everything would be fine. And as soon as she starts struggling with the rope, I was like, oh shit, I know, I knew it. And then she kicks the bucket over and then hangs herself. So nobody even really knew that she really didn't want to kill herself. Yeah, that's sad. That was fucked. So up. sad. And Tom Holland finds her. Tries to save her. She's already gone, bro. Yeah, like, it's been too long. He went, he went bonkers. Yeah. Um, how did he figure out it was him? That's what I'm trying to figure. Well, out. he did. So the cop says that the cop comes and tells Tom Holland later on. Some different cop, by the way. Different cop. Very nice guy. He was like being ex- as respectful as very, possible. Very nice guy. That's well, I was just saying because he wasn't no, like an funny. asshole like the other cop is, yeah. you know. So he was he was telling him that she had a she was pregnant also, and he was like, no way. And he was like, no, I'm telling you, like that. Dud- the guy Dudley is the one that told him and he's like he, he doesn't lie and he 
said that she was definitely pregnant. And then he goes, you know that preacher hasn't said... Like, so Tom Holland says, you know that preacher hasn't said any words on her because she killed herself? Like, he doesn't talk about people that killed themselves. Oh, yeah, you know? bro. So I think he started really figuring it out there. So then he started watching him. And then you see the preacher doing it to other girls, other young yep, girls, like yep, a girl yep. coming up on a bike and shit. Yeah, he and, was, like, military-minded, bro. Yeah. <laughs> like, he was stalking him. He was watching him fuck this girl, who, like, literally, who, who rode up on a bicycle. So she's young. Yeah. And he, like, smells her panties, throws them off, you know. And uh, then goes home and gets head from his wife, forcing yeah. her. And uh, Sick nigga, bro. Yeah, so he's just a terrible person. That's what we're, like, that's what I mean. He's a con man for church. Like, you're a terrible person. There's yeah. no way you believe in any of the shit that you preach. So so let's go to, because I'm trying to think of what happened in, in the process of Tom Holland had his, he got his dad's gun from his uncle. Right. You know what I mean? That's the first thing you see of him as Tom Holland but when he's from, when he goes from kid to being growner. Yeah. yeah grown. Is that, he, he, gets had, that gun. he had the gun. It's a Ruger 9mm. Um, and I know he shot the preacher, but. Yes. What was what was he trying to? That part pissed me off because. That was a great, that was a great scene. He kept trying to like act like he was, he did nothing wrong, bro. Like he kept trying to act like nothing was wrong with the situation. Trying to act like the pregnancy wasn't him. Yeah, like he wasn't helping wasn't, his case. That girl out. wasn't fucking with nobody but you, bro. Yeah, like you know what I'm saying. He was like, she wanted me to take care of it. <laughs> like you know, he started like kind of. He was there was nothing he could say about it. He was actually being honest anyway. Like really, he was like, uh, I can't. I'm not gonna take care of that. And yeah, yeah. he was be, he was lying and then being honest. And it was and everything he was just saying was basically he was being a piece of shit. Like yeah, you're not gonna, apologizing. You're, you're at gonna all. you're gonna die. Yeah. Like, and pretty, I thought pretty much. that was great acting by Tom Holland because he was super nervous, you know, like when he went in because he pointed the gun when he, when Robert Pattinson was turned around and, you know, then he sat down and then said that he, you know, like, excuse me. And he said, I want to save my sins. Yeah. And he tells him that he has a that he has his wife or whatever. His wife. Why his you saying wa- like that? Why you got to say to his, his accent? Because yeah, I, <laughs> I, I was going to do the part. That whatever. shit just came out. Yeah, his did. wife. His wife. And then he said he has a wife and, uh, and then he like fucks girls and shit. And he was pretty much saying everything that Robert Patterson was doing. And Robert Patterson was like, "What have you been watching me?" You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And then he points the gun at her. And then he yeah pulls up his sister. Yeah, and shoots him like twice in the chest and then once in the head. Or right, some he shit. bodied that man. Yeah. But we are gonna Dope. fast forward because shit don't end there at all. Um, he goes hitchhiking. He goes hitchhiking. And you know, so that was coming. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? He gets. God, picked, I was so nervous. He gets picked up, but I knew. I knew he would pick up on it. Right. And he did. I mean, you see it in his eyes. He right. Was like, I was like, he has a gun, and like, he's going to be the first one to actually have something. Weird, mm-hmm. dog. So, you know what I mean? Uh, I think the, the 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 husband says he has to pee or some shit, and they pull over, but they pull over, over, They also over. said their rule is they don't pick up anybody from home, which which is Ohio. Yeah. And then it turns out he's going to Ohio, and they pick him up, and the guy, the, the guy wanted the to pick him up like, anyway. Fuck it. Yeah. fuck it. We're doing it. He's like, fuck this shit. He's, a, he's more weird. He's the weirdo, yeah. really. So they pull, like, deep, deep into the woods. Um, The husband goes to pee. He comes back. When he's getting out of the car, he sees uh, he's got a revolver in his back pants, yeah. though. So he start reaching for his shit. Tom Holland start reaching for his shit. By the time the husband comes back, like, I think he was, like, squirming or doing something, but he saw the husband reach. He yeah. re-reached. He shot first. Shot him twice. Caught him clean in the bitch. Mm-hmm. And then him and the wife just had guns on each other for a minute. Yeah. How did that end? I can't remember how that scene ended. It was awesome. So they're the point of the guns at each other. He's like, please put the gun down. This I really, movie I don't, is amazing, bro. Really Six is. plus. He's like, uh, put the gun down, please. I don't want to shoot you. And she's like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And then she fires. And then he fires back after she fires. Shoots her in the neck. And then she dies. And then that narrator kicks yeah. in. Yeah. And then it goes, it does like, a flashback. Turns out Billy yeah. Bob never really trusted Smitty yeah. Smitty anyway. Took out her bullets and put in blanks. Yeah. Yeah. Bro. And then, so that's, so she would have killed him. That Thank writing God. was phenomenal. Yeah. Perfect, bro. bro. It was like I was, re- it was literally, that movie is set up like a book and it was beautiful. It yeah. totally was. If there's more in it. It really was. Y'all can see it. We don't leave it there. Yeah. I love the narrating. Like, usually, like, sometimes narrating gets like too much, you know? It was that just narrating enough. Was, it was, yeah. It, it was, was enough to where you forgot it was narrating. Yeah. It was like. Until it came back. Yeah. It was, it was totally perfect. It reminded perfect. me of Hateful Eight a little bit. I don't know yeah. why. Yeah. Well, because like, na- Hateful Eight is definitely written like a book for sure. God damn it. That one yeah. was good, bro. Yeah. Oh. Say, so was uh, a place uh, beyond the pines, which I was, we were saying earlier. This movie, they're, they're, for real, the, the styles of the movies are almost similar. So if you haven't seen that movie, you'd really like it. Bradley Cooper, Ryan Gosling's fire. Good suggestion. Good suggestion. Eva Mendes. You know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, bro. Five Puffs. I think Shane said Five Puffs. The Devil All the Time. It's a Netflix fucking exclusive, bro. Oh, Netflix original. But what else? 
There's more. Tell me something else. Oh, okay. So I already told him it might be more to happen, but y'all can just watch it. But if you got something, because I can't oh, remember. Because it was fire. Okay, so so he gets away with them. He said, oh, because it was fire. So he takes <laughs> so he takes their money and gets away. And he goes back to his own home because he wanted to go see his old house. Turns out it burned down. The guy who protected him waiting for the cops in the beginning was there and he told him his house burned down. Yeah. So he goes so Tom Holland goes back anyway and goes to check out the cross in the woods. And then that's when the police officer comes. The poli- while this is all happening, the police the, the, the officer who saved him in the beginning, who yep. was the brother of the girl who was the serial killer yeah. who just died, yeah. he's putting all the pieces together and figures out that Tom Holland is the one who Fuck, killed his that's sister a good and part. shit. Damn, yeah, there you go. Yeah, so he comes out in the woods with his shotgun because he knows. And he burnt all the evidence like we were talking about earlier. So there's no more evidence to, on his sister. So all he has to do is get Tom Holland and then just blame everything on him. You yeah, know? Yeah. Um, and he Tom Holland's hiding. He's Didn't got his Tom Ruger. Holland have a picture? Yeah, and Tom Holland took a picture out of uh, that's the what I was saying, yeah, yeah, out the of the wall, and he yeah. said it was their first kill, so he kept it special in his wallet. So he took that picture as evidence, which is perfect evidence because they're posing with a dead body. Yeah. So it's perfect to show that they were on, and they're and he, she's naked and shit. So it's, it's perfect to show that they was on some fucking weird they shit, sick, and yeah. he can prove that they were trying to kill him, and then he retaliated. Yeah, but what happened? What so so he, he's he's hiding. I can't remember. He's hiding. The cop is searching through the woods, yelling his name. You know, saying Arvin and saying like, um, you know, Arvin? Ref- yeah, referencing back in the beginning when he fought, saw him before, and he was like saying, "I know you killed my sister and all this shit." And so, Arvin speaking back, telling oh, him that he I, had I to, remember. yeah, yeah right, and he was right. like, and he explained why he killed Robert Patterson, the the preacher, because he wasn't no good, and he had he he pretty much made his sister kill herself and all these things. So he's like, "I had to do it." There were the whole time people. he's like hiding behind like a log, on the yeah, ground. on the ground with his gun. Then when he starts getting closer, uh, they're looking at each other, and uh, he. Goes to fire at Tom Holland, Tom Holland, and it it hits the log and misses Tom Holland. But Tom Holland shoots at the same time and shoots him in the stomach. Yeah. And then he falls down, and then he walks over with the picture of his of the cop's sister with the dead body, saying, "See, like she, they were tra- they were going to kill me. Yeah, I swear." He had no yeah. idea the cop really was like a crooked cop for real. No. You know what I'm saying? Like, and he then thought the cop he was dies. Really, he thought he was really being hunted. Yeah, like exactly. Shit. Yeah. Yeah. So then the cop dies. Oh, and he should have got a way more miserable death though. Yeah. That right. Was a piece of shit. Yeah, he did go. He did uh, kill some people early on in the movie for, yeah, you know, he, for some re- he, weird he, he reason. Piece of shit. That was a cool ass way he did the silencer. Do you remember that part? He put a rag and some something on his gun, yeah. and then shot the guy in the kitchen, and it was like, yeah, like yeah, yeah. dude, that was pretty. pretty yeah, you could dope. do a lot of shit. You could do a potato, all kind of shit. Yeah, yeah, a potato or a pillow or yeah. books. Or, but it was just cool how he did it. He just did it real quick. Yeah, that's dope. <laughs> yeah. But uh, five puffs. Y'all gonna have to watch that for shit. sure. Really like, good. If hopefully you watched it, the title of this will be like spoiled, and I'll put like the cover and like some of the scenes or movie, so y'all know we'll be spoiling. Um, but fire, great yeah. movie, perfect movie. I I, I was very I was very I've seen impressed for real. You know what I mean? Yeah, I've enjoyed it thoroughly. I think I will too. And Tom but, Holland pulled off that country accent. He's British, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So like I, I can always appreciate things like that. I you know, I didn't know that though. Yeah, he's super British. <laughs> um, but yeah, we are gonna get to this ten year thing, man. Shane, let you go first, bro. Okay. So ten year thing, if, if and then we'll say who is, if, who's if is better. In here, reminder is we are doing the movies that came out when we were ten years old, and we are ten years apart. So ninety three movies that came out, and two thousand three movies, and we got like I got a couple personal preferences, a couple that were just bangers, and just some that were just fire. Mm-hmm. Go ahead, bro. All right, and then we'll say you. I think you have a better year though. I honestly believe that already. All right, but I'll just go down. Um, okay, so head of state with Chris Rock and Bernie Mac. Fire. Hulk, the first Hulk movie ever. Decent, you decent, know, decent. yeah. So like that, I think that opened a big door. So I was happy. I like with O3 that. was a changing year too. Yeah, Go for ahead. sure. Old boy, old boy was old boy. Uh, it's a North Korean or South Korean uh, like fighting got movie. You, it's pretty you. dope. It's like gangster. Yeah. Old school. Yeah. Yeah. Classic banger. Mystic River, classic banger. Identity. It's a great movie. You ever seen Identity? That? Is that the? Uh, it's like a serial killer movie, but it, it basically, he, the whole time it was him. Yeah, it's a, he yeah, has yeah. double personalities. He was he fighting was his personalities dude, in his head. Yeah, 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 yeah crazy yeah. movie. That was fire. Love man. it. Oh, one of my favorites. Darkness Falls. Darkness Falls Fire. I always, um, bring, I always talk about that movie. Lost in Translation. Bill Murray. Dope. League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. Fire. The Core. I used to love League of Extraordinary. The Core mm-hmm. is bro. Yeah. Slept on. You on that? That's a slept on movie. The Core slept on. Mm-hmm. I had a lot of that one. National Security. National Martin Security. Lawrence. Dope. Uh, Cold Creek Manor with. Um, Dennis Quaid, that's a really good movie, bro. I thought it was good. Uh, bring it, it's good, but it's like you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It hit me. I it's uh, above a five, but it ain't a ten. It's like you know. It's like yeah, I'll give you that. I'll it's give you that. Around. Definitely have potential. And the guy who plays Frost from Blade is the bad guy in that. I think yeah. he and he was a beast. Though. Yeah, him being crazy was what made it good for me. Yeah. But um, bringing down the house. Hell Queen yeah, Queen Latifah. Latifah, Latifah. Yeah. yeah, wrong turn. 
classic. Fire. Yeah, the start of it all. I was yeah. about to say, that, that, start, that started something. Yeah. Dumb and Dumber Er, it's a sequel. Whatever. No, never watched that one. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Yeah. <laughs> um, Cradle to the Grave, Fire. DMX and Jet Li. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm about to say Steven Seagal, but yeah. I've yeah. seen, DMX I've and seen Jet all the DMX. They have a UFC fight in that movie where Jet Li beats up like 15 UFC fighters, like Tito Ortiz and Chuck Liddell and all. Yeah, bro, yeah, yeah. so fire. Yeah, fire. He like rips some dude's ear, uh, earring out of his ear and fucking sick. Yeah. It's like supposed to be underground, illegal UFC kind of fighting. Right, right. right. Yeah, dope shit, dope uh, shit. All right, favorite one, Kill Bill. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> that might be the winner. Yeah, old school, for sure. Old school was your winner, I think. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, holes. Uh, holes was dope. Yeah, just watched it with my kids like earlier in the year. Yeah, yeah. I love holes. I love Shia. Trying LaBeouf. to get them caught up on all the dope shit, bro. Yeah, I love Shia LaBeouf. Really. Yeah. Um, okay, another classic. Malibu's most wanted. <laughs> Malibu's most wanted, chump. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the rundown with the Rock and fire, uh, Sean, uh, fire, Sean William Scott, fire, School of Rock, fire, fire, Scary Movie Three, fire, fire. That was the last scary movie that was good. Call us the, the fire. Call us the fire list. <laughs> Two thousand three fire list. Once upon a time in Mexico. Fire. Fire. Cheaper by the dozen. Are you a Mexican or a Mexican? <laughs> go ahead, bro. Go ahead. I love Johnny Depp's character in that movie too. Yeah, he's, he's got, got that it. fake arm and man, he has that the shit gun under the dope, table. Man, go ahead. So we, we ain't got time to talk about that, bro. <laughs> Cheaper by the dozen. Yeah. Uh, you're gonna love this one. Umbach. Oh yeah. Fire, <laughs> oh yeah. That's the start of that too. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right, Lord of the Rings: The Return of the King. The third one, I was like, "How? That's like 2003." Right. So there must have been started 2000, 2001, 2003. Yeah, they, must have, they didn't 2000, miss a year, or maybe 2001, two, and three. Kind of like back, Harry, Harry Potter. Yeah. yeah, Harry Potter did the same, I think. Uh, uh, Gothica with Halle Berry. That's probably like one of my favorite that was Halle a Berry good. movies. Of she, she does amazing. That was in that. a damn good movie. Open Water. I hated her in Swordfish. By the way, go ahead. You didn't like her in Sword? I love that movie Don't though. Little titties, man. Like, yeah. Psh, What's that other one? Little titties with them small ass areolas. What's the other one? There's Swordfish uh, Moneyball? Or Monster Ball? Monster, Monster Ball. Ball. Yeah. She got that mm. was the hey. 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 <laughs> hey. Make me feel better. Go ahead. Uh, Go ahead. Open Water. Fire. Uh, I one, like that. I like short movies. Me too. Okay. Honey. Trash. But Jessica Alba was fucking sexy. Yeah, she was fire. Uh, high Tension. It's like a French horror movie. You know what I'm talking about? French horror. Uh, maybe. She's like a girl. She, her head is shaved. She's got a big ass. Um, uh, it's like a, like a fucking... Chainsaw or whatever. Oh, it's, it's pretty dope. I haven't seen it in a minute. Like and a then fucking, <laughs> and then uh, this movie's trash. Last Samurai. Tom Cruise. Fuck him. <laughs> I fucking hate Tom I'm Cruise. I'm just gonna go to my list. After hey, that. why you ended with that? Yeah, I am bro. sorry. <laughs> I know. All right, we'll start off, bro. I got classics in this shit. You know what I mean? We are gonna start off with Hocus Pocus. Oh, Everybody love Hocus shit. Pocus. Love bro. Hocus Pocus. This is about to be a banger list, bro. We, are you gonna watch the sequel to that? I mean, not this. Yeah, the sequel to Hocus. They they made are another. They, are they gonna be in it? Yeah, same same three people. Hundred percent, I watch. Yeah, it. me too. Um, Nightmare Before Christmas. Oh Banger. God, uh, good one. I don't know if anybody remembers this is personal favorite. Falling down. I can't remember the dude, but he was like, the whole movie, he worked like a cubicle, had his suit tied like his white shirt, tie pants, mm. and his suitcase. He had glasses and like a buzz cut. But like he started off his day started off really fucked up. I can't remember what happened, but he walked around the whole day fucking up shit. He walked around the whole day raging, angry, fed up with his job, fed up with his life, and he was just fucking shit. Huh? I've never seen that. It's called Falling Down, bro. I'll go watch that. Fucking Sounds good. Classic goat shit. Um, I got that on here because one of my personal faves, though. That shit was fire. Um, Days of Confused. Ah, oh, classic. I'm just. That's great. I'm just gonna keep going. Uh, personal favorite hood movie, best hood movie of all time, Menace to Society. Ah, oh, that's a good one bro, too. Three was a banging year. Tombstone. I'm gonna pick it up. Tombstone. My favorite western. You know what I'm saying? Fucking Val Kilmer. I love Tombstone. Goddamn fucking uh, Kurt Russell, Patrick Swayze. I was getting confused. It's Kurt Russell. Okay. I was getting confused. Um, Mrs. Doubtfire, bro. Classic. Sandlot, bro. Classic. Let's go, man. Hold See, on. I knew you were going to win. I knew you had the better year. <laughs> bro, Poetic Justice. Oh, do you, oh shit, justice? yes. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, you, you. I forgot. <laughs> you're not like, uh, that's the a white person. Like, wait, you ever seen? Oh, wait, wait. Shake. Got it. Shake. Um, this is the one I said I haven't seen. I'm a special breed. Yeah, fact. <laughs> this is the one I said I haven't seen, though, bro. Classic. Schindler's List. Schindler's List. I love it. You I've haven't seen Schindler's seen, List? Nope. Oh, it's beautiful, man. No, I don't think I have it's, anyone. Dude, it's. Bro, it's. Bro, but I turned on. Uh, it's intense, man. I turned on Hobbs and Shaw. Like, oh, Hobbs and Shaw. This is something to watch with my background noise, kind of. Mm -hmm. And, like, turned it on, like, five minutes. I'm like, I'm fucking seeing this shit. God damn it. Like, uh, so I might have seen it. Watch Schindler's List, man. It's it's a uh, it's a very I know, powerful. I know movie. it's something I need to watch. You do. It's um, really good. It's like Liam Neeson's best acting, probably in that movie. Yeah. For real. One of the most original comedies. 
probably not original for Dan Aykroyd, but original comedy outside of that. Um, and I just watched this with my kids this year too. Coneheads. 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 <laughs> uh, I had to put that on there because hey, it's a fun mention. That's hilarious. Uh, cool Runnings. If y'all don't know, that's what cool a great Runnings movie. Is, I don't know. I don't know y'all. If y'all don't know what Cool Runnings is, don't don't watch the show. That's all I'm saying. Because you're gonna forget, you're gonna be lost here. Is that a true story? Is that yeah, a, yeah, Jimmy it is. Lost, it's okay, to be. that's uh, that's dope. Rudy, another true story. Yeah, I love Rudy. Um, Robin Hood, Men in Tights. Oh shit! Yeah. 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 But you haven't seen Princess Bride, but you've seen Robin Hood, Men in Tights. Yeah, nigga, I've seen Robin Hood, Men in Tights in theater. But you haven't seen Princess Bride. No. Is what I'm saying. Yeah, you got to watch that too. I'm sorry, but like, it's like I don't know. You'll love it, man. It just never, I think it's better <clears throat> than Robin Hood, Men in Tights. It never crossed my path. Yeah, I you think Princess Bride is better. It just never crossed my path. Ow. That's Robin Hood. You would love it. You know what I'm saying. Uh, Homer Bound. Fire. Oh shit! The best, yeah. the best pet movie. I watched that with my daughter uh, not too long ago. She loved it. I, I don't was, think I was we so happy. Homer, I don't think we did Homer Bound yet. Maybe their mama watched it. We'll see. Um, two of my favorites because my grandma used to kill these movies, and I, I love them just as much as she did. We used to watch them all the time together. They both got Sylvester Stallone in Cliffhanger. I know and, what they are. I haven't watched those and actually. and Demolition Man. Okay. You ain't seen I know Demolition what, Man? Mm-mm. I know what it is, oh though. I haven't watched God, it, though. No. Bro, you got to watch Demolition Man, All right. bro. You oh, well. got to watch. Cliffhanger is a, eh, it's just a good old 90s action, mm. you know what I mean, like thriller. I've always seen scenes of both of those movies. I just never Demolition watched them, Man actually. Is fire. Uh, some more goat shit. Sister Act 2. If you don't like Sister Act, Sister Act 2, bro, I don't know y'all either. Um, Jurassic Park. Fire. Fire. And one more. It was Pivotal, which I thought came out in the 80s. What's Eating Gilbert Grape? Oh yeah, that one was all right. I was um. Isn't Pulp Fiction ninety three? Maybe. Oh uh, what? I got. Kept, uh, I kept. I kept it here, but I didn't need to go further. Like God damn, these are, these are bangers. I didn't want to keep going. Yeah, they are bangers. That's been, what I'm saying. Would've... That's why my list was so long. I was like, I can't not put this down. Yeah. Like, you know, <laughs> I, I, I had to stop. Like, I hit more movies one time. I'm like okay, that's not. No, I'm mm. done. I probably picked out of like the first. It's probably only like three movies I left. I probably just went down the list, bro, because it was just banger, banger, banger. And I kind of fished around for stuff that it was personal, like mm-hmm. you know what I mean. Now, yeah. I'm, now I'm starting to second. Like, what what year is Ace Ventura? I know Pulp Fiction has I think to be Ace Ventura 93. is ninety five or ninety one. Oh, okay, don't ask me why I think it's ninety five or ninety one. I think Reservoir Dogs is like eighty nine or ninety. And I never really get to get this wrong when I do this. I think you're right too. I think you're probably right. It's ninety five or ninety six. I said ninety five or ninety one randomly. So let's see. Ace Ventura. Ace Ventura. Ace Ventura. Uh. I can't come up. Google, tell me what I need to know, man. 94. Oh, shit. Close. Hella close. But yeah, yeah. It's just a good decade in the 90s. The really. 90s, bro. Like, uh, shout out Six Speed, bro. He posted. Oh, uh, Pulp Fiction was 94. Okay. Yeah. Shout out Six Speed. He posted in a, in a group. I think that was him. Um, The best genre movies, 80s, 90s, or. That was, uh, yeah, it was a Caleb. Yeah, yeah. Shout out Caleb. Six Speed, a.k.a. Six Speed, a.k.a. Chuck Dickens, a.k.a. El, El, El Cablo. You Amish Nigga, I don't know all your goddamn names. <laughs> uh, El Cablo. I think it's El Cablo, right? <laughs> Nigga, holler at me on the, on the message. <laughs> uh, he posted 80s, 90s, or the 20s, or 2010s, or something like yeah. that. Yeah, we had the same comment, too. I said, I like the, I would say the night. Uh, I, I like I the 80s and that, the 2010s. I, I was like, Shane think he me. This son of a bitch. Hey, I love 80s answers, movies, bro. too, and the 2010s. Oh, uh, but, oh, no, you and you and, you and Caleb. Yeah, yeah. Um, But, yeah, and most people said the 90s, though. Like, most people in that, in that in those comments said well, I the agree. 90s. And shout out for commenting on shit, bro. Appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, I agree. It is hard because 2010s, like I, that was like that. This list that I just named is really good, and that's only 2003. So that would go into that category. You see what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. 2010s were good. The 90s is definitely good. Like you just a, named 93. Like I mean, fuck. Yeah, that's only those movies. That's yeah, only exactly. These movies, right? This the is 80s. probably this is probably summer. Mm-hmm. Summer. This was probably like last half of summer to Christmas. Yeah. And I'm basing it off Days of Confused. That was definitely a summer movie. I know Men's Society was a summer movie, and Nightmare Before Christmas came out on Halloween. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Jurassic Park came out on Thanksgiving. Oh, dope! God, that would have been so fun to go see on Thanksgiving. Only Jan- only January through through May movie on here is Rudy and Cliffhanger. Mm. <laughs> all these are summer blockbusters, bro. But if you th- like, in my opinion, if you th- look at if you think about the, all the popular movies in the seventies and eighties, those are like the jump, like we like jump starts to uh, other amazing. Those movies, movies inspirations that never, like for eighties movies specifically are movies that never die. Mm, like the Goonies, yeah, like you know everything mm, in the eighties right. never dies. It's all co classics now, right? Like you, even if seventies and eighties is Star Wars too. Seventies and eighties, yeah, you know, facts. <clears throat> but uh, FBS podcast, hey, with Jay Sugar Shane. Um, it's been a show. It's been a show. I'm gonna see if Shane got a quote of the day. I just mentioned it, so to be thinking about it while I give these last words and shit. Um, 
But we went through our 10 year difference guys You know Movies came out 93 movies that came out in 2003 Bangers <clears throat> And in this time now And I'm gonna throw a thought of the day in this For all the creators Film creators The low the, Like the low key ones Not Hollywood Keep making content Cause we leave it to Hollywood We ain't gonna have shit to watch Like looking at this list And looking at his list It's making remember how Like How frequent it was To have a fire flick For sure You feel me I never said flick in a sentence But I just did Whatever But I'm noticing it man So all, all these independent creators bro All these film festival junkies That make the movies Keep making them shits bro Cause we gonna need some classics It ain't looking too good for us 2020s You know what I'm saying mm. If it ain't a superhero movie What we gonna do Midsummer uh, is still the worst movie I've ever seen in my life <laughs> By the way I can, name, I can name a bunch of shitty movies I know that was there. an independent creator too I ain't saying stop doing your thing But that was garbage yeah, it's de- it is definitely up there. That is one of the worst movies I've ever seen in my goddamn life. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. But we talked about that. Um, we bs a little bit. We talked about the boys having a spinoff. Uh, we talked about... Oh, I didn't mention. And I'm going to mention this now. That's something I forgot. Nigga. Do you remember the G.I. Joe movie and I'm going to stop talking? You were Channing Tatum? Do you remember how bad that was? Yeah. Do you remember when they zoomed in on Channing Tatum's face and was like, that son of a bitch. And that's exactly how he said it. <laughs> <laughs> and he just said with no affection, like Cobra Commando just like blew up shit. <laughs> yeah. And they came and told him he was like, "Son of a bitch," just like that, <laughs> no inflection. They they making another one, and I'm done. They're making another GI Joe movie called Snake Eyes or whatever. I, I don't care. I don't care. They don't need to do that. But we talked about that, or I, I should have talked about that. Um, we talked about some things, guys. I love Cowboys versus Aliens. You know what I'm saying? We talked about the devil all the time. It was fire. You gotta watch it, even though it might have spoiled it. I'll try to put a timestamp so I can just skip that whole part. Maybe. If I got time. You know what I'm saying? Or just watch the movie. Just anyway, but we went through it. We went through it. It was a big film show, big movie show. That's what we do, pop culture. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And we're gonna finish it off with a movie quote if Mrs. Shane has one. Alright, I got one. It's a random one. Um The more random the better, nigga. Superman could never actually have a kid with Lois Lane. His cum shot's probably like a fucking shotgun. He's like, unless he was wearing a kryptonite condom, but that would kill him. <laughs> Is this one of them Jewish cats movies? No. Give but uh, one hit, because I know that. Uh, la, 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 la. Without it's a James Bond movie. movie. It's the best Is it hand. Strikes Back? No. Well, I suck. Is it Dogma again? No. Is it fucking God damn it, man? Mall rats. Yep. <laughs> that don't count. Yep. <laughs> yep. You got it. Third try. I suck. Any game show would have been disqualified. Because that guy, uh, he's like a huge comic book. He's in the sci- uh, Strikes Back. Remember, he, he's in the comic book store. But that whole movie, he's just talking about superheroes the whole time. He even meets Stan Lee in that movie. <laughs> That's kind of dumb, know? bro. Yeah. I could have kicked him with that dude. Yeah. Hell too. yeah, man. That's all we got. We get out of here, man. My thought of the day was pretty much to all the creators, man. Keep creating. You know what I'm saying? Uh, night, night. Keep your butthole tight. Um, eat more tacos. Keep your butthole tight. Tacos delicious. Get your get your sea moss. Stay healthy. Uh, do fifty push ups a day. Don't be rude. Get your to vitamin people. D. Help old ladies across the street. Feed the damn dog and change the baby's pamper. Okay, and we out this bitch. And everybody love everybody. Yeah, nigga, I was waiting. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We see y'all next week. See ya. Got you out of my head. Yeah, they fake as hell. But I'm grinding, going hard, yeah. Too loud.